Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, as highly requested as it was in the last video where I caught like 30 crappie or something, all of you guys were asking for a crappie catch clean cook. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Gonna get my kayak, head out to the lake, and try to catch a crappie and cook it up for y'all. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, I find myself again coming out in like 50 mile per hour winds for absolutely no reason, trying to catch a crappie to do a catch clean cook. I just hope I can catch one this time. I'm so sick of this weather though, guys. You don't even know. Like, it's literally April 2nd right now and it's still like two degrees. Yeah, guys, it's a solid 30 degrees right now. So my hands are not doing too hot right now, but you know, we're, we're trying. We're trying to say the least. All right, guys, everyone, you must go sub to Martin right now. Martin Mark's channel link in the description because he actually came out fishing with me today. So big props to him because Danny and Kevin are absolute losers and never go fishing with me. I don't blame them though because I go out in 30 degrees and 20 mile per hour winds. But you know, at least he's coming out to be stupid with me. Yeah, but honestly guys, we're probably gonna try to catch salmon here because I heard there's a few in this lake now. So we're gonna target them next. So what are your thoughts on the day so far? Uh, it's honestly not that bad. You know, we had a couple bites at first. I was feeling a couple big ones, maybe some salmon. That's what I've heard on the beach. Uh, there's construction, so I think they put in some new fishes here. But um, over the, other than that, I think the day's been going pretty well. Um, and, uh, it's pretty warm though. Yeah, it is a little warm. As you can see, we're not bundled up that much. I was gonna bring shorts, but then I thought, you know, I think it's too warm for shorts, so. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys out there when we when we catch something, I guess. Oh, oh my gosh, wait, I think that was probably seaweed, but I thought I had a fish for a quick second. I got pranked. It was definitely seaweed. I caught your line. <laughs> Dude, that's my bad, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna flip. Oh, my butt is wet. My butt is wet. That's great. I just wave crashed right into my seat. That's some nice frosty water, man. Okay, so we think we might have found this in here real quick. Wait, I think I got something. I got something. There we go. There we go. Yep. All right. Okay. okay. Boom, guys. We just we actually already flayed it up. Got the salmon. Packaged you know, it. Yeah. The, the battery on the camera died, so that's why the footage cut off there. Well, during the catch, you know, kind of unfortunate, but you, you know, just had to be there. Yeah, you had to be there. But we did catch a salmon for sure, and we already flayed it up, got it ready, and Martin's actually gonna cook it here today. So you guys know that I don't eat fish, so you know he's gonna cook it up. Let's see if his recipe tastes any better than mine. Michelin star chef. Oh, Michelin. He's got three Michelin stars and three, four, four, dang. four out of five, right? No, there's only three, but <laughs> well, they gave me an extra one. They gave me an extra one. We're making a full course meal here. We're going to have some rice for the carbs, salmon as the protein, and some broccoli here for the veggies. So it's going to be a nice salmon dinner that we caught fresh out of the lake today. So as a three Michelin star chef like myself makes rice, you put it in there, one to two ratio of water to rice, put it on high once it starts boiling, put it to low, put it on the lid and just let it just soak up all the water and perfectly cooked rice. I actually don't know how to make broccoli though. Danny, you know how to do that? So I think this fancy contraption here cooks broccoli somehow. Probably put water in there, boil it, and let it steam it, right? So uh, I think we just like, you know, separate it like this and get little broccoli heads. It's actually my first time cooking broccoli, which is kind of crazy to think that I've never done it before. That's okay. We learn something new every day. Actually, I've done it many times because I'm a three Michelin star chef. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that and go like that, and hopefully that cooks fine. All right. So today, part of the course is the salmon, and the salmon is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> so take the folks through what your recipe is and how you're gonna execute it today. All right, so the first step, we're gonna obviously have to preheat the oven. So today we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. All right, so we're gonna start with the salmon, obviously that we caught. If you haven't caught it, that's fine. You can just buy it out the store, but, or you can catch it like we did. Uh, we're gonna need some lemon for the lemon juice. We're gonna need some butter that we're gonna melt. Um, some garlic powder, garlic cloves is fine, but powder is better. Uh, some salt and pepper, seasoned to set taste, and some oregano, basil, parsley, or Italian leaves. Any leaves, anything that's green to make it look nice at the end. Okay, so we're just gonna need like a tablespoon of butter, so I'm gonna cut that right now. And then we're gonna have to melt it, so I put it in the bowl to melt it. 
Okay, yeah, so now we cut the lemon. So we're gonna prep. You can do this on a cutting board, but I like to do it just on this so I have less to clean. So we're gonna spray the cooking sheet. Just where the salmon's gonna be. So. And then we're gonna place the salmon. Obviously wash your hands beforehand, like me. And we will put the salmon on the baking sheet. I didn't know there's skin on it. What we're gonna do is put some salt on it. Just a light drizzle. Or season it to your taste. Probably like a spoonful. No, I mean a, a pinch. Pinch of salt. Not too much salt, you don't want the sodium. And then we're gonna put some pepper. <laughs> Bro, this is so weird. All right, pepper to taste. You guys like pepper on your pizza? On your salmon? A little bit more salt. I like salt. All right, perfect. Some garlic, if you guys have garlic cloves, you can just cut them, mince them, and put them on the salmon itself. But we have powder, so you just a light little drizzle. And to top it off, we're gonna put some oregano leaves. Perfect. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, and now, this comes the best part of the salmon. We will get the lemon and put it on the butter. So you put it in the butter. You can do this separately, but you put it in the butter. Just a little bit. And then, okay, so I actually uh, messed up. You were supposed to put this on first, but I'm just doing this off the top of my head, so off the cuff, as they say here in the States. So uh, get your paintbrush, rubber, or an actual wooden one is fine too, and you will get the paint on the toothbrush and just paint it on there. Paint it on there like it's a, like it's a board. So now we put it for 15 minutes. Let's see this master plate job. This is master stuff finals here. Okay, <laughs> just place this right there on the side, clean little plates. Gotta keep it nice for the presentation. So now, our beautiful rice presented by Chef Joey. Grab a spoonful, plate it right on the side. We're gonna need a little bit, cause you know, we're growing boys. So we're gonna just plate that right there. I think, I think, you know, that's pretty good, but we're gonna add a little bit more. Then with your hand, you're gonna just put some broccoli right there. Make it look like a tree. Make it look like how it originally came out. Bon appetit, the salmon with the rice and broccoli served. Here we are. We got the wonderfully plated salmon and we got the three judges here. We're gonna judge our own food. What's up guys? I didn't fish. You, know, you guys, do you even know who he is? Cause I don't think so. I haven't. You haven't been fishing in over a month. So that's- Last time I went fishing is when I caught the pike. Roll the clip. Oh my goodness, let's go dude! Let's go! Let's go, <laughs> go baby! Holy crap, it's, we've been out here for like four hours. That was like February like 14th or something. So it's almost been two months since you've been yeah. fishing. Fake fan. Dude. Fake. He even Fake. Like, like, oh my gosh. I went today, man. Yeah. I don't even know how to fish. Yeah, so. Anyways, so that's the point. This is Danny. He's, he's usually on the, I'm channel. New to the channel. He's new to the channel here, so just thought I'd introduce him. But we're going to dig in and... I hate fish, but we're gonna see how it goes. Who wants to start? Joey, you wanna start team, us off? You start. You no, 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 no. Joey's in the middle already. Okay, okay. Joey's I'm in the off. middle. Okay. He's got the plate. We just get a nice, nice piece, a nice of, piece salmon. of salmon. No, oh, I just messed up. Oh. Rice first. Sorry, don't be nervous. <laughs> a little bit of rice <laughs> and salmon. Okay. Uh oh. He's a harshest uh -oh. critic. Uh oh. What is Super that? Super soggy, dude. Five. It's probably why I don't like it. Go. I give it a D. I'm gonna have to give this a fat F. <laughs> it's so sticky, tastes terrible. It's actually not too bad, man. Okay, 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 nice. Doesn't taste that fishy, so I like that. Can't really taste the lemon that much, so I wish I could really? taste it a little more. Yeah. Overall, good. it's pretty good. Like, I don't like fish, so being pretty good for me is a win, honestly. Yeah, that's true. So let's just- Drizzle a little more. Try to drizzle a little bit more lemon on there. Peel off the salmon, and then grab the rice. Get a little bit of the salmon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, oh, and he dropped and then it all. Drop everything. Drop everything. <laughs> all right. It's, like, it's a nervous panel of judges oh, no. right here. <laughs> really bad at it. Oh. Danny, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Okay, wait. I mean, give him a second, I like I fish, and that was that was that was pretty good actually. Pretty it good. was the fishiness was not really there honestly. Which is a good thing. You did a great job on this. Thanks, 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 thanks. Okay, well, I'm not that special. I've had salmon before, so I mean, I know what I'm eating, but I'll act like I don't know what I'm eating. So I'll just get a nice little bite right there with my rice. I'll try not to drag it off the plate. You didn't see that. All right. Oh, 
Yeah, no, that's pretty good. I've had it before us and I've cooked it, so I think whoever cooked this was a great job. Really good caught, too. Catch, I mean. Yeah, it was a good catch. So. That was the thing. Like, just fresh caught salmon, that's why it's probably better than the previous one that I bought in the store a year ago. It was actually during this time of year as well. I was went and fishing, couldn't catch anything, so I bought a salmon, but this time we luckily just was able to catch one, so that's great. All right, so now who are you gonna try the broccoli? Oh, well, since yeah. I'm already here, I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> Forgot about the broccoli. I was gonna broccoli. say, I can't forget about the broccoli. broccoli. Danny, you wanna grab a piece of here? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, just, just broccoli. <laughs> Taste the steam, mm -hmm. definitely. Good, good steaming on that, yeah. Perfectly steamed. Perfectly, I would First say. time cooking broccoli, but it's per yeah. perfection. I'm gonna have to be real with you guys for a quick second. We, we actually didn't catch the salmon. We, we went to the store, we bought it. No. Yeah, you know, but April Fools, I know I got all of you. Like, April Fools, April Fools clickbaited you guys. Didn't actually catch it, but we did cook it, and it tasted good, so. Sorry I couldn't actually get a catch and cook for y'all. We tried, the, we tried our hardest. The crappie just are not cooperating right now. Nothing's cooperating right now. So Very true. I'm just hoping in the future it'll get warmer here in Michigan. I don't know if it's ever going to because it is April and it's still 30 degrees out. So Very unpredictable. Maybe, Maybe unpredictable. we need to start using live bait in these times, but we've never used live bait in the open water. Am I getting blasted? Live bait? Oh my gosh. No. All right, so that's All why right. he hasn't been here for that's, two months. Yeah, so he's not. <laughs> not we'll be seeing him for see a you guys. while now. Just get out of here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more like catch clean cooks, let me know in the comments down below when it gets warm and I can actually catch a fish. I can I can do a real catch clean cook. Just let me know if you want to see that because I know you guys are always commenting and you want to see it. So I'll definitely make some more for you this year. As I think I'm starting to fish is starting to grow on me. So we're gonna test that theory with some catching cooks. And if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, folks, stay tuned. Till next time. I have to run over there. I'm Bass Bros. Wait, what? Yo, I usually say fish with passion. So fish with passion, too.